Hi there, welcome to this series of videos on programming logic. We would start with simple programs like even numbers, odd numbers, how to find if a number is prime, find factorial of a number and then move on to complex data structures and also algorithms. In this video, let's look at how to write a program to find the sum of first n numbers. For example, if I want to find the sum up to 10 numbers, what I would want to find out is 1 plus 2 plus so on up to 10. So that's basically what I would want to find out. If I want, if I pass in number 100, then I would want to be able to find the sum up to 100. So that's basically what we would want to write the program to find out. So it's called sum up to n numbers. I've named the function as sum up to and it accepts the number as a parameter. The number is up to which number you want to calculate the sum up to. So it's sum up to 10 and I'm getting the value into the sum and printing it out. So uh, let's write the function to do that. Right now it's written in zero back. So if I run the program, okay, you'd see the output here, it shows zero. So now let's go ahead and try and implement this program. Uh, to do this, I think a very simple way of doing it would be to use the for loop. If I want to use the for loop, I would need to have a variable. So I would start a variable called count and I would start it from one. Uh, the initialization anyway, I can do it in the for loop also. So int count is equal to one and I would want to go ahead up to a uh, number. So I would want to do it up to number count less than number, increment the count and what do I want to do? Uh, I want to sum the count. So I need a variable for holding the sum value. So I would start this variable at zero and then I would do sum is equal to sum plus count. So and here I can return the sum back. I'll try to run this program and see what the output coming up. Okay, if you see the output, it's 55. It's correct. Uh, one thing you need to be careful about is right now I'm writing an int back as uh, the value. Uh, if you want it to work for very big numbers, probably the right written value would be to use long. Because when uh, integer can hold 16 bits, that's I think up to 32,000, somewhere around 32,000. So if your sum in goes over 32,000, integer is not the right value to hold it. Probably long might be a better value for it. Uh, let's just debug this program and see how it works quickly as well. So I would add in a variable. Uh, I would want to add watches for sum and I'd want to add a watch for count as well. So let's try debugging this program just to get a clear understanding of how and why it works. So now main is called, the clear screen is done, and now the sum up to function is being called with parameter number as 10. So now count is starting at 1, that you would be able to see it here. Let me just take it back a bit. Okay, now you'd be able to see the values of sum and count as well. So sum is going to be initialized now so sum is 0 count starts with 1 and now sum is incremented and sum is equal to sum. so sum is equal to 0 after this sum plus count sum is 0 plus count is 1 so that result is stored in back in sum so sum becomes 1 uh, the count now is incremented to 2 so sum is equal to sum plus count so 1 so sum plus count is 1 plus 2 that is 3 and it would be stored back into sum so the next value in count is 3 so sum plus count is 3 plus 3 is 6 so 6 gets stored into sum now count is incremented to 4 and now the value of 4 uh, is getting added to 6 so it's 10 sum becomes 10 and counts get incremented as well so 10 plus 5 is 15 and count becomes 6 15 plus 6 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36, 36 plus 9 is 45, 
and 45 plus 10 is 55 count goes over uh, the number so it returns back and it returns the sum back and it's printed to the output and that's it so there you go that's the program to print the sum up to 10 number if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye